Gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of What a Horse. I'm here with my buddy Jerry. Yes, sir. Hey, we, we've had some good, good horses showing, buddy. We did. We did. I mean, some good ones. Did you, uh, did you see Walk for Rosie? No, I left right before that. It was getting a little late. I had to. <laughs> it was getting late, but man, he he was walking for the roses yeah, they too. They say he was real good. Was they it. say he was real good. They they had some great horses this weekend. I mean, truly great. Uh, Kid can do. Mm -hmm. Now he he was a bad cat too. So every, everybody's looking good out here. Everybody's happy. Uh, and now we're getting ready to just do a warm up this week and work towards next week. Next right? week. That's right. Hey. That's right. Try to get everything well, together. Well, I tell you what, Jerry, we're going to make some announcements in just a moment. But first, we're going to take a short break for our sponsors, and we'll be right back with some good announcements. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety, and KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. Okay, we're going to be visiting some barns this week. We'll be out yours too. That'll work. We're, we're going to go out a there. lot up. <laughs> I'm out there all the time. All right, Christmas in July is the 28th, 29th, and 30th over at the Rock Pile in Shelbyville. That's the Ag Center. Call Carol Missile 919 437 Six five nine seven Showtime five thirty. They gonna have food galore. Yeah, out there. They barbecue they do. and all that yeah. good stuff. Chris Bobo, Johnny Puckett, and Paul Robbins will mark the cards. Then you got the Money Tree. That's the Friday night. It's gonna be in the Cal Sonic. Contact Kerry Tisma six seven eight five seven six twelve ninety. Jamie Bradshaw, Robert Courtney. Mike Hill is going to mark the cards. Then we travel up to Woodbury. Lions Club. I love it up there. Oh, yeah. I really do. Contact Shane Cannon. 615-904-4395. Starting time, 5 o'clock. And Ross Campbell will mark the cards. And following that, we'll have the Cornersville show the following a week after. It'll skip a week, then the Cornersville show. And then on the 16th, we'll have the uh, horseplay show, which is very important. I want to talk a little bit about the horseplay. Uh, we got some video from last year's horseplay, but I want everybody to know we're going to do a multi camera live stream, which you're going to be a part of that now. That'll work. Uh, you'll be on there. We'll be doing interviews. 
there's a lot we're going to be doing because we're going to have numbers that people can call if they want to make contributions to horseplay. And a lot of people don't understand what horseplay is. They uh, horseplay is open to all kids in Tennessee, really. And most of your your therapeutic riding programs are local only, but not not horseplay. They've got kids from Franklin County, Coffee County, Warren County, Lincoln County, Bedford County, you name it, Grundy County. They let them all come because. That's what it's for. That's really what it's for, is for the kids to learn. Like a lot of stuff you do, oh, Jerry. Yeah. I mean, you you got kids out there. Oh, I have a lot of kids out there, and I want to teach them about the horses, how to take care of a horse, how to groom a horse, and all that stuff. That's very important. Well, you got one throws a fit when he has to leave because yes. he wants to stay a little longer. He wants to stay a little longer. <laughs> well, that, I mean, that's good, though. These kids... Whether, whether they're horseplay kids or any kids, really, they need to be involved with something other than a video game and a telephone. Yes. And that I, I see so many kids now just sitting around video games. But you know, when you go to a horse show, you see a lot of young people on horses. Yes. And uh, out there doing different things. Uh, I mean, it, it's... It's just important. It's very important that they get out, they go around, and horseplay is one of the ways to do it. So we're going to we're going to let people call in and make contributions. Uh, the more money they have, the more they can do. Uh, we do the horse show in hopes of raising enough funds to run them through the year, and for them to do upgrades. They got an obstacle course over there. Me and you probably couldn't do. Probably so. Yeah, I mean, right. you might, but I don't know whether <laughs> I could or not. But uh, it is not. There's old Kerry the Army. Yep. Tornado Alley. But these are the people, some of the people that showed last year, and I'm hoping they'll return this year because we had a great show. It's a wonderful uh, show. Hey, and for a good cause. That's uh, yes, it thing. was. A real good cause. Yes. Uh, Joe Fleming's going to mark the cards this year. Yep. And uh, that which is, is good, Joe. I haven't seen Joe. Uh, judge here lately, but I know they've been going to quite a few shows. But it, this is part of it. He's been doing long enough to know a great, know a good one. Well, that, that's they a fact. Been, yeah, yeah, he's he been doing been it long, long enough. enough. He knows a good yes, one when sir. he sees one. Mm -hmm. So that's all we got to worry about. Is let him see a good one, he'll be okay. That's right. Some of these horses that won over there went on to win world championships last yep. year. That's something else to think about. Exactly right. Because I know Michael Chandler won one. I'm going to try to get a lot of my students that I have, kids that I ride to go over there and, and watch and participate. Well, it's good for them to see. It's yes. just, uh, I'm going to tell you, there's Allie Jo. <laughs> she was reserved. <laughs> I'm going to ask a question, Jerry. Yeah. Are y'all going to do this like you done last year about the different classes together? No, or? no, no. We're not, I like no. that idea. Oh, that I was, did that too, was a good but, idea. But I, I bailed out of helping put that class sheet together. Uh, Marcy and Kristen now are putting the class sheet together, and they'll have a good one. But I enjoyed it because I thought last year, I thought it worked out super. It did. And uh, once, you, once you realize that there was two classes coming in at the same time, and you tied horses. Yes, that's right. That's so, so that was that was the main thing is to tie horses, and we only had one mix up, and that was when the one class came in. They said that's it. The second part of the class hadn't come in yet, uh. and uh, there's a rule that you once you close the gate, you're not supposed to allow anybody yes. in. And I went out and talked to the judge, and I explained to him that the problem was it, the class was in there, but the second part of the class, which was a different class, wasn't. Uh -huh. And we could either let her in right then, because there wasn't but one in that, yes. in that section, and let her in right then, or we're just going to have to let her come back in by herself. Yeah, yeah. This way she's out there, and, and he, he was good enough. I mean, he said, he said, I understand. He said, I told him, I said, I'll tell him it's me. It yeah. wasn't, wasn't him. And he wasn't really, he wasn't really breaking a rule. The gate person's one broke the rule. Yeah, 
they shut the gate too quick. But that was a good idea. That was very, that's the first time I ever seen it. And at first I didn't know exactly how it would work, but once I seen it, it worked on it worked, real well. It worked, it worked perfect, it worked, didn't it? Worked it? Good. I thought, it worked I thought so. And you know, this year, a couple, I've seen a couple of shows, shows already yeah, seen, that did it. Uh -huh. To me, it's simple. It just yes. tie the horse. Makes no difference what number it is. Of course, we used red and black numbers. Yeah. And we just tied them in the first. Black was the first horse. And first red was the first. Yeah. You just go down the line. Nobody knew which one of them was actually first in the class. Yes. But it didn't matter because it was two separate classes. So it's pretty it was good. A, it was a good deal. It was a good idea. What I want people to realize, though, when we have that show, is that there will be numbers, and we will be giving them giving out during the show, that they can call and make a contribution to horseplay. Because horseplay, they do a lot of good things. And they try to constantly have fundraisers to support it. And I'm hoping that it will build and build and more people, kind of like uh, Camp Smile a Mile yeah. down in Alabama. My hat goes off to everybody in Alabama because every time you look up, their horse shows are supporting yes. Camp Smile mm -hmm. a Mile. But up here we have one show for horseplay. Yes. And I, I just like to see a lot of people get involved and help these kids because yes. they, 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 that's a good thing for them. Oh, it is. I mean, it is a good, good thing, thing for them. Very touching program. Yeah. I enjoy watching them. No, I do. I, I enjoy watching on them work face. out there. That's, the more they work, <laughs> these kids, they, they get into it. They get into cleaning the horse, brushing them, whatever. Yes. They, they really enjoy it. I do want to bring up one thing about the Christmas in July because it's not going to really be in July this year. It's going to be in June. June yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're getting a head start. They're going to bring in their barbecue and all of this, at the, that fried peaches that they do. Yeah. Have you had them? Yeah. It's pretty good. Delicious. It's pretty it good. It is delicious now. As the old guy says, they will take a big bite and then make your tongue to slap your brains out. That's country. Oh, yeah. It's, and believe me, that is, when it's that good, that, it, it is country all the way. It is good. You can always tell if I'm a big man like myself. We always know what good food is. <laughs> if you, you can't, you'll find it. That's her. right. I know you said Leanne Harrison was a good, good cook. cook. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to find out eventually because I'm going to slip up on them when they're eating and just <laughs> tell them I need a plate. I tell you, I like the way Carol Misseldine did this class sheet because she put a lot of the flat shot classes early yeah. on a Friday night mm -hmm. or on a Tuesday, Tuesday night, which is right in the middle of the week and everybody coming in. Yes. A lot of the performance horse people will be coming in later. Yeah. And most of your flat shot people are right around here. Yeah, yeah you're right. So that, that was a good move by her. That's right. But uh, they're going to have their tents set up, and I am going to go over and talk with uh, Carol now I'm about the show, see what what all's going on. Maybe something new. Of course, we'll be covering it. I believe Dean Johnson's going to be live streaming it. But we're going to do a multi-camera video when we do the horseplay show. I like that. I like it switching from camera to camera. Yeah. I want to get people to interview. Mm -hmm. That That's going to be, we may send you out and let you get somebody to interview. We'll I'll see it. what kind of questions you'll ask that's then. <laughs> <laughs> say, hey, you got a horse or you can bring me? Bring me, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if we can't call them in and bring a horse or more horses up here. Be all right. But I am looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to visiting the barns this week. I haven't been to Lane Leverett in a week or so. Yeah. You're still working for him. <laughs> I guess a lot of people think I am. <laughs> well, when you was narrating his horses, everybody said, I didn't know Jerry was working for Lane Leverett. Well, the biggest thing, when you have good horses, you got to give them in what's due. Well, you, you, hey, he has put some good ones yeah, out there. Yeah, he has. He made some but a lot of good coats. This past weekend, we saw some good ones. One thing that I'm going to say that I thought was fantastic was what they did to kick off the show in in in. Belfast. Uh, I, I would bet money Joni Janae thought of that. Probably so. I'm gonna I say. mean, that yeah. was a, it was a great thing. Uh, we put it out there on Facebook, and people are viewing it right and left. A lot of positive comments. Uh, it's just, uh, it shows what our children are. 
shows where they're at, and then you look at the classes with our youth in it, and we had we even had a boy in equitation over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, he won. That, that's the big thing. Yeah. He won. Well, he beat the girls. <laughs> I mean, for sure did. Well, I tell you what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and start watching some video, and we will come back and talk about everything later on. Here's Columbia Spring Jubilee. Polly Gray and Tanner Burks, which now Tim Brown owns this bear. Yep. And Shane is at the bank. I'm gonna say we'll probably see that mayor doing this Fourth of July big show. I weekend. would think so. I, I cannot see him buying her and not showing her. Yep. And she is ready. They're gonna be up. There's a bunch of two-year-old mares out here that are plum good. Oh yeah. This is Real one good. of them. This is one of them. I wonder where they come up with that name. That, that's a neat name. I know. Right here is Manny. I tell you, Taylor, I, I've seen Manny look good. Yeah. But I, that, to me, that night, that was perfection to me. I mean, digging with his back end, walking, reaching, shaking. You couldn't yep. ask him to do no more than what he was doing that night. That's right. He's shaking all over. You know, well, he he's just, yeah. getting it done. So if it ain't walking and shaking, it ain't walking. That's right. I'll tell you what, now Taylor can ride a horse. Though. She that's can ride. She helps. Really ride. And here's I am Luther James. Who is Luther James? I don't know who Luther James is. But I know Jaron Dotson right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jaron, he's, he's, hey, he's right in there with you. Hey, uh, I he, thought when they first said Luther James, it was maybe a, a bootlegger from years ago. Yeah. You know, we had, we had them horses named after <laughs> bootleggers. Yeah, that's right. I just wonder what, it, maybe that was one. But Shane, Shane says, hey, that's mine too. I should have asked him. He would have known. He would know. I, that's right. He would know what, where he got the name from. Right here's Georgia, Florida line in Knox Blackburn for Bruce McDonald. Tell you what, that's a good one. That is a nice horse. That horse does the same lick with Knox riding and with Bruce riding. I know. Or whatever. I mean, he don't never change. He stays this. Well, I tell the same you, that's a good one. That's a true blue one right there. It is. I mean, mm -hmm. that, that's walking right there. Yeah. But a lot of people look at our horses and they know that. Some of them have different ways of going. Yeah. But they're all walking. Some of them are just stepping higher, reaching further. And a lot of that has to do with the size. Yeah. Because I know uh, I had one one time that had a big neck. And uh, he just could not set his head the way other horses yeah. could. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that's, that's just it. Look here. Cole Hahn and Ali Joe Jacobs. That young lady just loved it. Her daddy told me they uh, went to the barn Friday night uh -huh. and was just messing around with the horses. And she told them, they said, you know, we ain't going to show, but we might ought to give them horses a show bath. And he didn't think nothing else about it. He was doing something. He turned around, look, she done had both of them in the cross tie ready to give them a bath. <laughs> That's, That's what you need, Jerry. That's right. She call, call her. She'll come work bath. for you. <laughs> I tell you, she really into them horses. She, she is. is. Well, you watch her and some of these other kids, and they, when they get hooked on this horse, they watch everything. Yeah. Well, you can see her at the horse shows. The other kids, a lot of them, when they get through showing, they all playing. She's there at that rail yeah. watching them horses go around mm -hmm. that ring. And I tell you, she a really does. Yeah, too that's what I'm now. Saying. He's right in there paying attention. It, Bunch of them like that. Ferrari in 308. Dahlia Smith Har for Kenny Smith. Amateur owned and trained specialty. That's no one that likes 
She grew like up in horses. Yeah. I mean, from the time she was knee high to what is that grasshopper? Yeah. Every time you see Kenny, you see his daddy right there with him yeah. all the time. Love them horses. You know? She does, man. There she is, she's limitless in Molly Walters on her Kelsey Andrews. It's another real good man. Oh Lord, yeah. Yeah, perfect timing right she's there. She's a known does the same when 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 the trainer shows it and trainer can show it. It makes no difference. difference. Well, you know, that says a lot about the trainer too. When he can oh, set yeah. that horse and he can have it just as good when an amateur can ride and he riding that's well, you, I'm trying to work real hard at that. I know. Well, Jimmy told me one time, he said, winning the World Grand Championship does not define who I am. Mm -hmm. But he said, now, but when one of my owners, the amateurs, now, he said, that's, that's right. what I like. Mm -hmm. now, I guarantee you, he would rather see his amateurs win one than him. Yeah. Well, yeah, showing your work. And Megan Hammond. Well, that's the true, it, it shows what a trainer truly is. That's right. I mean, his, his amateurs are his legacy, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amateur show pleasure winner, epic. Now see, that horse goes different than Georgia Florida line. Yeah, that's right. A little different. When you're looking at these horses, it all depends on, especially on that judge, is what you like. Yeah. Which way a horse goes, do you like that way a horse goes? And that's now look at the way this one goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's got more of a set, head set yeah. back, bowed. And I tell you, when that horse comes in and you see him, I don't care how many is in there, you keep coming back to him. Oh yeah, you're gonna recognize I mean, him you because his color, <laughs> his, the way he sets up in the bridle. When he picked that front foot up, that back foot is right in that spot right there. Right there to the side of it. I tell you what, he's nice. I tell you what, Bob is just is good for the industry. Oh yeah. He likes he he's like Robert Gorch. He likes to look at these videos too. A lot of them will look at it to see if it's something they did or if something they could do better. Well it helps you on that horse. Yeah. You're going to feel one thing. You know, they changed classes on this horse right here, and Kim Lewis was just ecstatic over it. She uh -huh. said that she just thought it was great because he, you can tell that horse was, if, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, uh -huh. you can tell by the way he's going. Mayor Bill and Dan Waddell for George and Kim Lewis. Biggest thing on these horses, you gotta put them horses in where they're gonna do their best at. Right. Well, mm -hmm. you change them all the time, and you find one that where that horse just lays back and goes. Yeah. That's, that's, that's why a lot of horses show pleasure. Hey, they didn't like the tail brace. They that's like right. this. Yeah. Here's Kingpin, 15 to an under winner, and Bob Adcock. That horse that really works his back end real good there. Oh, yeah. Well, you can follow them white stockings and, yeah. and see exactly what he's doing. He lays them hawks down behind there real good. That's the last show that Bobby Sands will narrate or announce it. R.M. Kelly, four-year-old stay and canter winner. I'm telling you, that four-year-old class. It's gonna be good now. This horse, everybody better keep the eye on him right here. 
Hey, he's, he's a, a nice walking. Th he gets it done. That four-year-old class has got a bunch of good ones. I'm going to tell you, you can even name them. <laughs> you can. And, I mean, there's a bunch I mean, of good ones in that class. you can go down the line. Mine, that's right. Well, you got some of them that jump, jumped up and showed in the state class. Yeah. I am big enough. Here's I am big enough and Maxine Beasley, your reserve winner. Tell you what, she made a great show up there. Mm-hmm. Sure did. That one right there in this class right here, this year, he's going to be hard to beat. Oh, yeah. Now, he's just going to be hard to beat. He is putting it all together. And if nothing happens to him, he, he's going to he's gonna be, he's tough. Yeah. He is tough. We got a great canter. And, you know, that's another horse that's pretty, pretty standard every time he comes out. Yeah. He, he's doing the... Getting it done. You hear him in the background? Yeah. Mm-hmm. always got a real good canner, too. Yeah, he does. A real good canner. I don't know if Mr. Peebles put that canner on that horse or not. It looked like one. <laughs> Hey, he's, hey. he's a canner. Now he can he can hey, teach him to do that. Now he's a Dick put it on there. Yeah, I can tell you he's that. A, he's a master at that he, he, now. He can, he can get it can, done. He can he really can do that. Sure, get it done. Right here, at Cumberland County Horse Show. Right there's I'm Coach Cal and Allie Joe Jacobs. He's a little girl getting that dress code too, if you oh, notice yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Certain certain colors yeah. for certain other horse, horses. Yeah. <laughs> right there's John Gruden. Ray Carr. That's a nice horse. He's been nice for a long time. That's yeah. Well he's got several good Yeah, Ray. He was talking about some of them horses he had and and what they were and how they was coming along well, yeah. and getting better. And he's right. A, they got a good program over there. Yeah. I taught my brother everything he know. <laughs> you do? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be sure to ask him about yeah, that, Jerry. Him, ask him. I'm the youngest, but I taught it. Brother Vengeance and Jeremy Jensong. Is that right? Johnson. 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 Uh -huh. That's a Cajun. That's a Jeremy. Yeah. The Cajun. Jeremy. The Cajun Jeremy <laughs> on Evergreen Walk Horse Farm, Brother Vengeance. That's a nice horse there. Yeah, it is. I laid that on with the horse is a real super lady, too. Hey, you can't beat her with you a stick. Be, yeah, she's, now, she's very nice. I'm going to tell you, nice. she's just a super, super good mm -hmm. person. All right, what we got next? We got advertisements. That'll work. <laughs> we're going to work. We'll be right back after we take a short pause for our sponsors. Be right back. A Jim DeWin started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jim would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. 
Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen Wynn is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Tired of paying for monthly telephone service, expensive long-distance bills, and all those crazy taxes? Are you sick of spending money on telephone equipment, maintenance contracts, and service calls, all for a phone system that shackles you to 100-year-old technology and your desk? Stop it. It's time to ship your phone system to the cloud. What can the cloud do for you? Bring together remote offices, workers, and employees in the field. Make sure that you'll never miss calls by delivering them to multiple devices. Modernize faxing by allowing multiple faxes to be sent and received at once. And deliver to email. Get your voicemail messages instantly through email, too. And take advantage of an endless supply of customizable features. Host My Calls can deliver the cloud. All of this technology with low upfront costs and not one penny in capital expense. It's time for a phone solution you'll truly love from Host My Calls. Call the number below. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. All right, we're going to jump. That'll work. All right, no, but now we're going to jump clean over, and I mean clean over the classic, uh -huh. and we're going to go to Arab, Alabama work. for their championship class. And here he is. That's a bad cat right there, buddy. Yeah, it is. Honor and remember. Dan Waddell, I, I've asked him a couple of times, I said, when are you going to break him out? When the time's right. When the time's right. Well, he broke him out. Mm -hmm. That was a good, good show yeah. down there from what everybody said. And I want to thank my buddy Bob Roach for this video because yeah. I had to call and get it. Oh, Dan done, done a heck of a job with that horse right there. Oh, yeah. And that's a, that's a four-year-old. Yeah. And he's a canter. So that's just that much more. Everybody's, everybody's wondering, but now they're yeah. coming out of the woodwork now. you got to watch them. you got to watch them because they're going to get here. They're going to get right. You're right. There he is. Honor and remember Dan, Dan Waddell for Kim Lewis. I'm just wondering if we'll see him anymore before the celebration. Dan had a pretty good weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure did. Had a real good weekend. He was one training the lead gates two year old. Yeah. That was a good horse. I yes, see him over there. Real good horse. Yeah. Real good horse. 
All right. All right. I want to say one thing before we jump to the next class. Everybody needs to watch their horses and their, especially young foals. Yeah. Because I lost, we lost my little stud foal in a, a pretty little stud coat too, just like that. I mean, I called the vet, went and got the meds, and I, he said, if he's not better in a day or so, bring him over here. And I said, I'm going to bring him in the morning. I should have took him the day before. So I, hindsight's always 20-20. But, fellas, if your foals are breathing hard, sucking air, get them to the vet. Don't wait. Get them there now. Yeah. Because they need fluids. They need medication. And that's the only place you're going to get what you need. And that I carried him out to Dr. Bennett and, and uh well, he, he just, he was too far gone, but that's it. That he's now, pretty rough. Yep. Right here is a way to start a horse show, ladies and gentlemen. You get you two young men to carry the flag on a pony and show just how much you love the United States of America. Now, these young men did a great job. I don't, I don't know whose idea this was. But they need to stand up and, and take a bow. Oh, yeah. Because that was, that was about the neatest. I told Justin when I saw him, I said, I can't tell you what now. That right there made my day. Yep. That is. That's a neat thing. But I'm going to tell you about them two, about that little pony right there and them two kids. <laughs> and, you know, I show that lead line all the time. Mm -hmm. But now they have more fun. <laughs> and I like watching them more than any other horse out there. Well, they're having a good time. And David, that pony is a broke son of a gun. <laughs> oh, David Williams told me, he said, you know who I tie in that glass? He said, I tie them little boys because then I'm going to tickle two of them to death. The other way, I'm only going to make one of them happy. That's right. <laughs> but now, they, that's, I mean, they really enjoy it. Well, they, I looked up and I said, I said, I don't know what they're going to do. I know they can't show because their grandmother is the show manager. Yeah. And then here they come on the, the stick, the flag horse. I said, yeah, no, buddy, that's it. That's right. Here she is, Equitation Youth, Lebanon Under, still undefeated in the Lebanon Under. Yeah. Allie Jo Jacobs. She likes it. She gets out there and gets it done. Now, she owns her, uh, Lebanon, uh, her Equitation horse. Yeah. But I noticed. Lee Stewart take your hat off to her because she furnishes most of the horses uh -huh. for her students. Equitation Lebanon under winter, Allie Jo Jacobs. Lord, that girl loves to ride. Yeah, she loves it. She reminds me of a manager, Sister Million. <laughs> yeah. She shows all the classes. Here's a show pleasure class. Knox Blackburn took the blue for Bruce McDonald on Georgia, Florida line. Mickey McCormick was reserved on the titleist remembered for Drew McCormick. Two good ones in oh, there. Yeah, they were two good ones. There he is, Georgia, Florida line in Knox Blackburn for Bruce McDonald. Georgia, Florida line in Knox Blackburn to the blue. That's Georgia, Florida line in Knox Blackburn. Bruce and Robin McDonald on the entry of Shelbyville. You're right here, open Shelbyville. That's a nice horse. Yeah, he is. If you notice, we ran an earlier victory pass for him. Yeah. He's the same. Same thing. That's what I'm saying. Same right there. Mm -hmm. Right here is the youth pony winner, Da Hoss and Allie Joe Jacobs. 
owner Jacob's family. You know, the horse made a good show. Oh, yeah. He really did. Made a real good show. Dickie did a good job putting that ribbon on there, yep. too. <laughs> the horse. I like the name of that. The horse, yep. It's different. The horse. And right here, reserve winner, I am big enough and Maxine Beasley. Tell you what, that's a good one, too. Oh, yeah. No, you can't. That's what I love to watch these classes when these kids are in there and they are riding. And both of them are having a good, good class, a good show. Right here's your open specialty championship. And I'm on this horse just sold now. The winner sold last week after Columbia. Twisted with honors and Tyler Balkum for Allison Armstrong took the blue. Fly Dragonfly and Jimmy McConnell for Shannon Hart. Playing Jen, Bill Calloway, Keith and Lorraine Rosberry. And I am honors Link Webb for Don Collins. Finished out the ribbons. Pretty good when you can buy a horse that yep. was reserved mm -hmm. and, turn around. and get back out there and bam, win the championship. Yep. I tell you what, that was several good horses in that class too, Jerry. Oh yeah. You know, after some went down, there's quite a few people started coming in down there. That's right. Belfast. There he is, open specialty championship winner. Twisted with honors and Tyler Balkum for oh, yeah. Allison Armstrong. She said that she had always liked that horse ever since the first time she saw him. That's a nice horse. Yes, he is. Awful Real nice. nice Awfully nice. Yep. One thing about it, he's, he's there and he's going to stay. That's right. He's getting mm -hmm. it in there. Tell you what, we're going to take a short pause for our sponsors. We'll be right back to finish out the show. Be right back. <laughs> I had a knee replacement, so they've got me in life care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back, and that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> Welcome back. We're going to go back to Belfast. How's that? That work. Because we got a bunch more down yeah. there. They, they were some good classes. Oh, it was really good, good classes. 
Right here was your youth, 12 to 17. A Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley took the blue. That horse was, was real good that night. Oh, yeah. You know, that, that horse is always good. Mm -hmm. He's always good. Some nights he's a little better, but he's always good. Lightning in a bottle and Chloe Castile was reserved. Evening at the Palm, Lanny Mullinex was reserved uh, third. Three good youth horses. Yep. Just sitting right up in that yeah, saddle. saddle. That was a good class. That night right there, I, that's probably the first time I ever can say I sat in the stand and watched every class that went in the ring. Never you, you sat in the stand? Yeah, watched every class. I do that a lot because I, I enjoy watching it. I enjoy it. I, I can get up there and I, I try to see if, how close I can come with what to judge and, yeah. and mm -hmm. try to figure out what they're looking for. That doesn't always work. That's that's what I was doing. That horse right there, he it, it just constantly has good shows. A Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley. From Alabama, B.B. Beasley and a Super Bowl MVP for the Blue. I'll take another look. B.B. Beasley and a Super Bowl MVP. Trying to get me some practice in. I'm thinking about getting my my judge's license. <laughs> I would. I'd get them. I'd trust you as soon as I trust anybody else, buddy. You get them. I'll see if I can't get you some shows. That'll work. Right here, two-year-old stallions. I'm gonna tell you. I gotta say it. I watch this horse right here and. I just thought he was outstanding. A victory pass and Dan Waddell took the blue for Natalie Baker, Lee 8. He's Shady Grady, Nick Plapkin for Sandy Shoemate. And the high line, Knox Blackburn for Steve Hatmiller. Yeah. Three good horses. Oh yeah. Real good. I just, that victory pass is, is just a, to me, he, he, and, and Justin Legate, he was really sold on Oh, him. yeah. And that's what matters. Oh, yeah, that's right, but that is a nice horse. Oh, it sits up in the brow. Yep. Real high. Shows are getting fuller and fuller as the yeah. year goes on, Jerry. Oh, it is. Come celebration time, you ain't gonna be able to find a seat. No, that's right. People are coming out, watching. There he is. A victory pass in Dan Waddell for Natalie Baker Legate. Two-year-old stay and winner. Dan tickled me. I yes. called him and I said, you know, I'd like to talk about a victory pass on that horse. He said, you have to call Kim Lewis. I said, no, I'm talking about a victory pass. He said, oh, you're talking about the horse. <laughs> he was a good one down. Yeah, he was. He made a great show down there. Three-year-old stallions. This is a nice horse here, too. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, Paul Simmons needs to be a Awfully proud of this and because oh, yeah. he is nice. Voyager, Jimmy McConnell for Paul and Tiffany Simmons. Honor of the Ritz, Dan Waddell, Chaslyn Beasley, and 
Jose's winning score, Clay Sanderson for Sandy Shoemaker. You know, I watched Paul ride, and uh, he ought to be a trainer himself, oh, the way yeah. he sets horses. He's, he's, he's got good hands, you can tell that. You know, Paul done this for a long time, for a long time, a long time ago, and then he got out for a good while, and now he's just getting back in it. Well, I've talk, every time I've talked to him, he, he, you can tell he really enjoys this. Yeah. End. He loves horses. He got three nice horses. He got that he's showing. Dan's on pretty good right there. Right there, right there he is, Voyager and Jimmy McConnell for Paul and Tiffany Simmons. That's a pretty sucker, boy. Oh, yeah. He is now, that's a pretty horse. I, I think that horse is my master jazz. Mm -hmm. Well, he's nice, no yeah. doubt about it. And here was a tough class, amateur three-year-old mares and gildings. Kid Can Do and Robert Dortch took yeah. the blue. Hollyanna, Sherry Bonner was reserved. Kung Fu. Dr. Linda Jones, Magic of Gin, Jason Joseph, and absolutely honored Ruth Logston finished out the ribbons. But it was Ken, Kid Can Do. What's the old saying? Kid Can Do can get it done. <laughs> and did. Now, Robert's another. Oh, yeah. You see Robert riding, he's got that smile on his mm -hmm. face. You, you know he is having one good time. One good, that's right. Who'd you try in this class? What the kid can do. That's kid, all that kid can do. Yep. Well, you got that right. <laughs> yep, right there, there he is. I tell you what, Robert, Robert's a good rider. Yeah. He sets up in them, but he gets it done. Robert Orch and Kid yep. Can Do. It's a pretty thing, too. Pretty horse. Notice Robert's took oh, into yeah. that style too. He's got him a gray suit on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask him about that. And here it comes. There's a picture on Facebook wanting people to guess who it was. As soon as I looked at it, I knew it was the motorcycle king, Russ Thompson. That's right. <laughs> My papa's nothing slouchy. Oh, yeah. Walk for Roses and Russ Thompson took the blue in this one. Right there he is, just sashaying along. Holy Fields, my papa, and Tyler Balkum was reserved for Bob Hill. And he's Whiskey Cavalier and Jimmy McConnell finished out the ribbons for Meadows and Myers. I 
That's a pretty horse right there. Yeah, he is. Pretty He bring me back in memories of old Pride Jubilee. Oh, um, Armed and Dangerous. Armed and Dangerous and um, Pride Generator. Pride Generator. Yeah, that white mane. Well, there for a while, yeah. everybody wanted to look, at, look there. Yep. One more time tonight in Belfast. Turning on the juices oh, yeah. now. Walk for roses. Real nice there. Real good. Hey. He, 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 that, that's a good horse oh, now. Oh, yeah, that is a good they horse. Be, they Real better watch horse. him. I'm telling you, celebration is going to make believers out of a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. There he is, Russ Thompson, the California motorcycle man. Turn him on, Russ. But that's a sight right there. Oh, yeah. That is a sight. Can't beat that with a stick. No, you man. can't. I tell you what, we we had some good horses this weekend. Some oh, you really had some real nice horses, real good real horses. Real nice ones. I mean, they just everybody is getting in there. I'm wondering how much time we got left. I want to remind everybody of next week. We do not have any shows, or this weekend we don't have any shows around here. But next week, starting Tuesday, uh, this weekend we have nothing. Yeah. Next Tuesday, we start, well, a week from today, we start. Yeah, that, that's uh, right. We're going to have a bunch of good ones. Mm -hmm. And it's going to get right Christmas in July. Then we're going to have the uh, uh, one in the uh, Calsonic. Uh, then we go up to Woodbury. And uh, I don't know, we just, one show right after another, I just tell you, I get, I get confused with all of them. You just gonna have to get you a lot of beauty rest this weekend, Jerry. You're gonna be busy this next week. I'm gonna be busy this weekend. Yeah. I got it. But me and you both are. We gotta deliver a horse. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's Friday. That's right. <laughs> Jerry, let's get busy and start videoing for next week and That'll we'll work. get ready to go to the horse show. That's right. We'll see everybody next week to kick off the show season. Everybody come out and enjoy. You Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner's circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.